Good afternoon, my fellow scientists. It is Monday, May 15th, 2017, and I want to talk a little bit about graphene. A clever commenter noted that maybe one could dope a battery electrode with graphene, and that would improve its properties. And indeed, in some cases, it can. Graphene's an amazing material recently discovered where a single layer of graphite, a carbon sheet, one atom thick, has amazing properties quite distinct from the properties of the graphite it came from. It's highly conductive, for instance, and extremely strong in terms of its uh, tensile strength. So if it's so conductive, let's use it in place of the charge collector, right? Let's embed it within a battery electrode so that the charge that's being emitted by the oxidation or reduction reaction uh, will will be carried to through the load by the graphene. And this kind of option has been pursued in a number of contexts. The one I'm going to link to in the description below is the use of graphene to enhance a tin electrode for use in lithium ion batteries. The idea there would be that you have lithium associated with tin and you discharge the battery by letting the lithium out of the tin, de-alloying it, if you will and that lithium can then uh, cross to the far side of the battery where it can, can embed itself in, an, say, a iron phosphate matrix. Now, graphene added to this tin anode serves two purposes. One, it helps conduct electricity as the battery is discharged, but two, it helps buffer the whole system against swelling. The problem with tin is that when you put small atoms like lithium in it, it swells up by a factor of hundreds of percent, right? It gets much, much bigger. And it's really important that it not do that when you're charging and discharging your battery, since you don't want your battery to swell up and split open, for instance. That would be bad. So, in order to overcome this, some clever researchers embedded the whole battery with a whole lot of graphene and used that to restrict the motion of the tin particles as they absorbed or released uh, lithium. So indeed, uh, the use of graphene is definitely warranted in many battery chemistries. The next question is, is could I use it in an iron battery? And the answer is, yeah, if I had a limitless supply of cheap graphene, I think it would be a great idea to dope one side of the battery, the less conductive side especially, with graphene. So right now, the battery I'm moving away from was the iron-iron oxide battery, and I, because iron oxide is very, very poorly conductive. But if you had really tiny particles of iron oxide and lots of graphene to carry charge into and out of it, maybe it could make a good material. But I don't have tons of graphene available. I do have cheap graphite, which is a lot more resistive, and that has bad effects because the more resistive it is, the more energy you have to spend moving electrons through that resistive graphite instead of moving electrons through the device you want to give power to. So yeah, uh, graphene would be a huge advantage in that situation. Whether we used iron oxide or iron EDTA or whatever iron salt we are using to accept electrons, uh, definitely a more conductive matrix is warranted. So if you want to see me explore some conductive carbon matrices this summer, please stay tuned. We'll be posting new videos Monday through Friday, almost all summer. I'm going to take next week off, be aware, and I may have to take off days or travel. But other than that, Monday through Friday, there'll be science and batteries and all kinds of new experiments here in the Allen Lab.